On August 21st, America will be in the path of totality. We will be covered in darkness. But that's not the newest Cannibal Corpse album. It's a total solar eclipse. And a total eclipse occurs when the sun is completely covered by the moon. But what makes this one so notable? The shadow will cross through the entire continent of North America, starting in my home state of Oregon and all the way down to South Carolina. The last time that happened, it was 99 years ago, which makes this eclipse, it makes this rather the eclipse of the century. And here to talk about the eclipse, it is theoretical physicist, Dr. Michio Kaku. Welcome back. Glad to be on. So uh, this is uh, very exciting. I, we hear about eclipses here and there, just like we hear about meteor showers. They sound pretty common, but this one is a once in a lifetime event, it sounds like. That's right. This is the eclipse you're gonna talk to your grandkids about. People will talk about this because it was 99 years ago in 1918 that a total eclipse went right across the U.S. of A. Yep. And it's not going to happen again for decades. So this is a chance of a lifetime. And will it freak people out? Some will because, of course, uh, the animals are going to be freaked out. Uh, birds will cease chirping. Some animals will start to go to sleep because they think that it's, it's nighttime. And, and how long does it last? Well, the actual eclipse itself, if you're right there in the path of the eclipse, two minutes and 40 seconds. Okay. However, from partial eclipse to partial eclipse, about two and a half hours, you can see the sun gradually being eaten up by the moon. Yeah, so, so it'll get sort of darker and darker like it does at dusk, and then uh, it will be blackness that's in right, the middle but, of the day? But for God's sake, don't look at the sun during the eclipse. I think that's what most people will want to do. Even with dark sunglasses. Okay? Because even if, even if the, the sun is blocked by the moon, the light can still burn your eyes. That's right. And go to NASA.gov, and it recommends different ways that you can actually look at, at this eclipse. For yeah. example, a pinhole camera. Get two sheets of paper, punch a hole in one, look at the image on the second sheet, mm -hmm. and you'll clearly see the total eclipse right there. Oh, that's amazing. Or specially darkened glasses will do also. Okay, and if you go to NASA.gov, they, will they send you glasses? Uh, no, but certain public libraries are giving them away free. Yeah. If, you're, if you, if you uh, do it soon enough, while the supply still lasts, you can get free darkened glasses specifically for this eclipse. And they're going to study the sun's corona. That's right. There's a mystery. The farther you go away from the sun, the hotter it gets. Mm. The hotter it gets, which violates common sense. And we physicists are actually still debating what is the mechanism that heats up the corona so much. Yeah. And so it's still of scientific interest. What do you think it is? Uh, well, we think it has to do with magnetism, mm -hmm. that there are uh, gigantic solar flares coming out from the sun that heat up the corona. And sometimes these solar flares cross. And when that happens, it shoots out a coronal mass discharge. Mm -hmm. And if it hits the Earth, I mean, oh, mama. <laughs> You're talking about wiping out communications on the planet Earth, that that happens. Well, that's not good. All right. Thank you so much, Dr. Kaku. Okay. Looking forward to it. Can't wait.